It's new coax time at the QTH. We've got uh, this beautiful, beautiful, it's so beautiful. Messi and Poloni coax. This is the, uh, I'm gonna replace the uh, RG8X and the RG213 that I've got up now. For uh, HF, I'm gonna use this Ultraflex 7 Sahara and uh, it's basically uh, kind of the specifications, if not a little better specs than RG213, but it half the thickness. So that's gonna be HF, and then I've got this uh, Hyperflex 10 Sahara that I'm gonna run for VHF and UHF. But before I do that, I've gotta run it through the wall. Here's one of the coolest things about Messi and Poloni connectors, because I gotta take these off. I don't have a hole in my <laughs> this pick. I'm not gonna cut the wire, no. I'm gonna take this off and reuse it. Let me show you how. I gotta take off this heat sink first. Some big old grips. They're not the same size. So you gotta use two different size tools. But that's okay. So that just comes off. All those things slide off. That just comes out like that. You ever see that happen before? So that little hole there is where you solder. So I just gotta desolder that, pull the pin off, and then we can feed this through the wall. It's starting to flow, there we go. See how cleanly that came out? So I can reinsert coax into there and totally reuse that. Ready to get stuck through the wall. Now I've gotta rip, rip. <laughs> I have to take out the old coax. We can just cut these. Bye bye. Now I can take the old coax out of the wall. So now the RG8X is gone. Hopefully we can feed it through easily. I think we're in. Now we can finally get rid of this pesky RG213 and go ahead and install our Hyperflex 10 Sahara. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna cram a bunch in here. Okay. Now we got enough back in here so we can put the connector on. Okay, so now let's put this connector back on the Ultraflex 7. So first we need this little nut guy. That's gonna go on first. Then there's a metal washer. That goes on next. Then is our rubber gasket. All this is gonna stay in this jar for a second. Next thing we're gonna do, these are the Messi and Plenty scissors. And we're gonna cut off about 10 millimeters of this jacket. We're gonna fan all this out. Then we take this little jobby here. Sometimes we need to just open that up a little bit to get it around the foil like this, okay? And then we squeeze it and it slides underneath the shield. Isn't that brilliant? Then we can trim off all of these excess hairs and once you're happy with how you've cleaned it up, doesn't need to be perfect, we can move on to the next step, which is to cut off some of this center conductor now. Sometimes a knife helps. Okay. Then we take this little washer guy, whoops, and we slide it over the center conductor. And then we're gonna solder the center conductor back on. I really like just putting this in a vise Gives you a helping hand, as it were. And we just slide it over. And I like to keep that hole up because we can feed our solder through there. And just heat this up. It's gonna take a little while, that's okay. There it goes. Just like that. Now after it's had a chance to cool for a bit, we're gonna pull all of this, push all of this stuff up to the top, and we're gonna slide our Evo connector over everything and just start screwing it in. And just tighten everything up. There's a little gasket there. Like these are just wonderfully waterproof connectors. And when's the last time you have ever reused a PL259 connector. Probably not recently. And that's it. 
I'm gonna make a pigtail that's gonna go from my VHF UHF radio to the watt meter. And connecting to that coax, we're gonna use the same connectors, but I'm gonna use one of these heat sinks. Now, this is totally overkill for this radio, but this is a heat sink designed for higher power, like if you're running an amplifier, this is gonna dissipate heat from the coaxial cable and it's gonna screw on in place of this other guy. So this is what normally comes with the connector. We're gonna go ahead and discard that. We're gonna go ahead and slide this on first. Then we're gonna continue the installation of the connector just as we would normally. Now we slide this bad Jackson up and screw it in just like the other connectors. Look at that, beautiful. Now I can carefully not fall off the roof, unscrew this old coax. Put a couple, couple wraps around here for no good reason. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh yeah, that's a nice water sealed joint right there. I'll tell you what. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Gosh, <laughs> these connectors are so cheap. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh yeah, that's like a, that's like a match made in SWR heaven right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. That just feels good on the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Something nice about just screwing these connectors on, man, it's... Whew. So I'm gonna connect the part going outside to the antenna part on the meter here. And then I'm gonna take the non-heat sink also connect it to here, and then the part with the heat sink, I'm gonna to connect to the VHF, UHF radio. It's already happier. So that's it guys, just wanted to share my install of the Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 10 Sahara and the Ultraflex 7 Sahara line of coaxial cable. As I start to learn more about coax, I'm gonna share that with you. I've already got a few things in the works. I'm gonna make some dedicated videos on each individual coaxial cable, and I'm gonna do uh, some separate videos just on how to install the different connectors that they have. These are the best freaking connectors in the world. So <laughs> I love them. Stefano, thank you. You're a wonderful person for supplying us with uh, your beautiful, beautiful coaxial cable. I am forever indebted to you, good sir. And uh, until we meet again, guys, thank you for watching another episode of K&M Radio Stuff 73.